Hello everybody and welcome to a video that will most likely get dinged by some form of copyright no matter what I do. Hmm. I must oh, well. over it constantly. What? What is? Welcome to Aero. This is a game that I found on, uh, I originally saw this when you, when Nintendo uh, was showing off their, you know, their indie showcase thing on YouTube and oh, all these games speaking of, Nindy's showcase tomorrow. Hooray! As of this morning. January 22nd. So this is a game that was designed by the people who did, who worked at Harmonix, I believe. They did stuff like Guitar Hero and stuff, and oh, wow. this is basically uh, their response to make a game for uh, electronic music. We'll be starting off with one of their songs from the Monster Cat DLC that this game is included with. This is like the complete edition. Whoa. It works kind of like a twin stick shooter. You're on a circular track, an invisible circular track, and you want to match these blue lines. Oh, I like and this song. This is very nice. Interesting. This so you sounds move, so, you, so much like a Dead Mouse song. It's Laura Brem. I think it's by Mana. Oh, oh, by the way, the singer is Laura Brem, and she is like the queen of EDM vocals. Huh. Actually, like in all these yeah, EDM I songs. I think she's been in a couple Dead Mouse songs, and that's why I recognize her. But yeah, you basically move around it, on the hold track. On. Is this the girl from Raise Your Weapon? I swear, this uh, is the girl from Raise Your Weapon. Wait, drop, drop. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, this definitely sounds like that voice I've been hearing a lot of in, the, in recent memory. Let's go. So, you move around, avoid obstacles, hit those blue bars when you want to, and like I said, it's kind of a twin stick shooter in that we move this cursor around. If you've ever played Res or Res HD, it worked kind of similar to that in which we want to uh, lock this. We want to lock this reticle on top of things and when it's uh when they've locked on enough pull the zr or zl button to uh fire a laser beam but What's the, the, name the of this laser person, by the way the singer this laura brem b-r-e-h-m no not her shoot oh. okay sounds exactly but... like the girl from razor weapon but nah it's all right all right and we'll get to the second verse so this is why I meant. Now this is also why I meant by this game. This game and this video will most likely get copyrighted somewhere. Is that this game uses similar to Guitar Hero, uh, fully licensed music. No covers whatsoever. Nope, original music. Oh boy. Wow. Well, hey, and, and, hey, if we can if we can still hear it now, at least it looks it doesn't sound like it hits you hard. Oh yeah, no, no. It's just it'll probably be like an ad or something in the corner, which we can't do nothing about. Yeah, it's just one of them. It's just the breaks. But just yeah, this is easy. My this is easy. One of my favorite songs I've played so far. Just ah, oh, I love the sound of it. Hey, Honestly, you, this is so go good. ahead. Hey, you said this was DLC, right? Uh, in technically, when this game first released, it was considered DLC. On the version that is on uh, the Switch, it is quote unquote the complete edition, which includes oh. all the DLC for free. Okay, that's good. I'll look up what the price is in a bit, but um. Oh, one thing to note about the lasers... Oh, by the way, in the upper left, you see those shields? Yeah. Uh, if I'm lazy and decide to not dodge this, ah, <laughs> I, I, I lose a shield, and you get three to survive the, the stage with. Gotcha. So there you go. Gotcha. Help. Yes. So one thing to note about the laser, regardless of whenever you push the trigger button, the laser will hit its target on the downbeat. Gotcha. So, huh. to, get the, so to get a direct hit and the most points... You want to pull the trigger just before the downbeat, but not on it. Otherwise, it's going to wait a whole another eight counts to land on the next downbeat. It's Why good. is that building over there, like... I don't know, it's just... Oh, is that was the name of the song, We Won't Be Alone? I faint. Oh, cool, I think... Oh. Was it on our channel or on our playlist? I, I just saw uh, it. Either, it or it's on Monster Cap. Yeah, you can... Yeah, you can Check it out. All these songs are songs you could listen to, so let's do another one that I this, found. This kind of reminds me of a more oh. Whoa. free free flowing and futuristic version of a. Uh, what was the name of that? What is the name of that one game? We both like it. It's like we play a beetle. Oh, oh Thumper. Thumper. Thumper, thank you. Oh, yeah, Thumper. And uh, keep an eye out for little red glowing dots around the place, because if you find them, you can. Uh, Shoot them for bonus points, and also be careful because enemies can fire at you too. Oh fuck! Duly noted. Meanwhile, I'm actually keeping my headphones on because I love this music. You know what would <laughs> be the worst thing? Worst thing to do with this game? Because you hmm. said this was made by the same people that, that pretty much make Guitar Hero, right? I believe or most so. Of the key it was. Behind it. Um, I 
think? Let me, let me look into that a little bit more, but continue, you were saying? Well, if that were the case, thank God we're not having to play all, all this through a freaking instrument peripheral. Yeah. Uh, Neither through the DJ set or a straight up guitar. Oh, yeah. This well, they did make a DJ funky. hero at one point. They did, what? and nobody really bought into it. Nobody yeah, bought no. it, but to be fair, there were some amazing remixes. There were some. Oh no, the mashups they did were really awesome. Yeah, Wasn't like, like a we queen will, one. We will robot rock you is one of the best. That is an incredible remix. Yeah. Oh, that mashup is so awesome. Anyway, let's get some points. So yeah, you'll notice with my lasers, some of them will like kind of loop de loop around, or they'll just be a direct hit, and that depends on when I pushed it in relation to the uh, in relation to the downbeat. You know, I feel like I have played one other game before. It's not so much a rhythm game. It was actually, it's actually like a, a reboot of an old Atari 2600 game, where it, where in the reboot case, you're, it's like a twin stick shooter. Like you got to move around like that, and then use the other stick to aim the reticle. And I mean, it looked interesting, but it was overall a piece of crap. Aww. I think it was called Yard's well, Revenge. What? Well, oh. Well, I'm hoping I'm doing a decent enough job of showing this off. Honestly, this looks, well, to be fair, this looks, it definitely looks like it runs smoother and a lot faster by comparison. Yeah, so, Just, yeah, that's again... Like, that's, that, like the, that's like the one other game that immediately comes to mind where you're mostly a ship and you're aiming your reticle with the uh, other stick. Uh-huh. Also, or, I apologize... Or, or, I, or, you know, the more obvious case, Kid or Surprising. Yeah, so... Except in that case, you say, have to use a touchscreen as opposed to a, re a right stick, and a lot of people tried foul because of it. It would be so much better on the Switch, it like really an actual like, controller. It's anyway, I software has no plans to do so anytime soon. Anyway, I apologize. I looking into it. It seems that um, let me look into this real quick here. It seems that we, we were that we were full of shit. And, uh, oh, so so Al oh no no so Alex who worked on uh, Alex who now works at Math Fellow Games was formerly employed at Harmonix. Oh okay. So okay so yeah. Actually, so what's isn't Harmonix the people who do who do Rock Band as opposed to gar Guitar Hero? Was it Guitar was it? Hero Neversoft? Oh, you know what? I think it was Neversoft. Let me let me look that up again. Maybe it was Rock Band. Yeah, I, let's, I, one of Well, hey, things. either either way, it's still the same freaking thing, just sort of handled differently. Here's who is no, but there, but dude. Okay, okay, no, no, okay, 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 backing up, backing, Beatles. backing up, backing up. Harmonix did the original Guitar Hero. All the sequels oh. were Neversoft. Oh, so, okay. But they did move on to do Rock Band. Yeah, understand. that's oh, what okay. I thought. Anyway, this is another song uh, called Outsiders. Uh, but, more uh, you know, I, I never realized there actually was some ties between the guitar hero and rock band. Oh yeah, it was, it's kind of like a Call of Duty Modern Warfare thing, where like the original made Titanfall later, and Infinity Ward and, Tri and Treyarch have been doing all the other series. Right. I think Treyarch is still... Treyarch did Black Ops 4, didn't they? Are they still doing it? I think so. I think they did. Well, at the very least, okay. it's not quite. It's, at least in that, in their case, it's not quite as bad as say uh, the Harvest Moon series, where it's being handled by a completely different staff now, which sucks. And yet, the original staff have went on to make such, some other games. Of, there's like say Little King Story and um, Story of Seasons. Oh, nice. But so I will say, like, I, I, what I like about this game is I like how um, responsive it is. Like, yeah, your ship will follow the exact movement of your left analog stick. Would you, so, little, would you say it's a little too precise, or just right? I'd what? say I think I'd say it's just about right. You just need a lot of hot. You just need some good eye-hand coordination to like make sure you hit these tracks right. But after you played it for a while, let's go. After you played it for a while, you start to like learn the physics of it. Like it's it just yeah, you, you kind of get used to it. Okay. Oh. Bring down but, the. Uh, so what? Is, so what is your guys' opinion of just electronic music in general? I think I love it's done well. It can be. It can be yeah. really good. In fact, I will say this much: one of my favorite things in the in the music industry is if you mix electro electro with um, straight up orchestral mixes, or orchestral oh, yeah. or even jazz. Like that Didn't stuff the... is is pure sex on the ears. Oh, I love electro swing. Yes, yes. It, it, it's it, great. It really, like that, that, that peppy bounce to it like works so well. You know, the, you know, the, you know, the one genre that's that a Sonic of all things excels at. Oh yeah, and wasn't there? Um, and wasn't it? Uh, Mad, correct me wrong. Wasn't the Spider Verse movie kind of doing something like this, where like they remixed orchestral music together? Uh, a bit, yeah. Although to like, be I, fair, I, I, I know Prowler's theme is basically like that. Eh, kind of. Prowler's theme wasn't really like that, but it kind of was. 
Actually, I, yeah, now that I think of it, Tyler's theme was. But, you know, but yeah, no, I just I like I like when it, when it works. So geez, I think awesome. in a, I think in a lighter sense, I think the Mario series has been starting to do that since uh, Galaxy or Greedy Land. I could see that a bit, like well, especially like with Bowser's theme in, in 3D World. Oh yes, that was good. Uh, I I know Sonic do, Forces do, do, definitely do, do, played in love with this. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Sonic Forces like it had its it had its good ones, it had its bad ones. Though unfortunately, it never quite excelled in one or the other. And we out. Woo! But yeah, so I like this. Peace, They're also bitch. like, but but I also like for all these songs, there are unique tracks and stuff that play like unique like theme. Like it's not just the same. Like with Guitar Hero, it's not just the same board with the same notes. You have like different theme stages you're going through. Mm-hmm. Jordy, what do you make make of all this so far? It's pretty good. There were, I think, probably just one or two songs that I thought were a little bit much on the electro mix, but. With songs like uh, the previous, the previous one we were just listening to, and the very first one, very nice job. Oh, I love Monster Cats. This is what this is. This one you may find a bit grating, but it's one of my favorite by Flex Pavilion. It's called "I Can't Stop." So when do we get to in, the, so when do we get to the point where it starts getting absurdly dubstep? Yeah, when do we? Uh, well, this one I think the next song, which is the boss stage. Oh, wait, this wait, one, wait. Like, okay. would you make would that make it dubsurd? <laughs> I guess so. But yeah, this is one of my favorite songs by Flux Pavilion. I can't stop. Which... Oh, this one's this one's super famous. This was like using like commercials, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've heard this song before. Everybody has heard this song. What was it? What was it in? I it's like, can't it's like remember. one of those things. Like now that I've heard it so many times, I can't remember where I've heard it. <laughs> so yeah, I can't remember where I first heard it, but yeah, but it's definitely like it, this is like definitely one of their like. This is kind of like their take on me for AHA. Like, this is the song everyone knows from Flex Billion, I think. But yeah, so... I just, yeah, I just remember finding this game and having tried it out. I think it does... I think it's a really nice uh, twist. And uh, honestly, I also like to say that... I like that it's taking a shoot 'em up and turning into a rhythm game. Basically, I, I, I like to see rhythm games be creative with how they implement rhythm. You don't have to just be playing the instrument. Thumper made it be like a well, Thumper almost made it kind of like a fast-paced grinding platformer. And I know there, and I know one of the one of our lookouts we did with uh, James and some of his remixes. Like we've seen various ways rhythm games have been implemented. Mm-hmm. I mean, what do you think, like, frickin' Rhythm Thief showed us how you can even take stealth and turn it into a rhythm game, kind of, uh, in, some, in some instances? I'm still sad we don't have a means to record that, because that's actually, I, I, I do legitimately like that game. I want to record that game. I If I, if I can get a 3D simulator that likes it, I want to straight up record that game, because that game is just, like, that is like Professor Layton, if Professor Layton was a rhythm game. The story and the animation and the, it's... It's pretty. It, it honestly feels like it may as well be a like a subsidiary of that franchise. And if, and if I'm correct, it was made by some of the same team that did Space Channel Five. Uh, oh, really? Because so. they out, because they out, or at least it was it was sponsored by Sega. Because spoilers. Oh yeah, no, that, Se- no Se- Sega. I think Sega both developed published. and published it. Because spoilers in Rhythm Thief, there are not one but two stages, two types of sta- stages that are a themed around Space Channel 5's gameplay and also spaced around Samba de Amigos' gameplay. Oh, cool. You but, just said yeah, spaced no, around. No, he did. He said Space Channel 5. Or, or, or based around, I meant B-A-B-A. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Spaced around. Yeah. That would have been, been kind of funny. Mm-hmm. I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> okay. So, does this game look like it would interest you at all, Matt? You know, it kind of does. It looks a lot of fun. How much is it again? Uh, fifteen dollars is the complete edition. Oh, that's actually not bad at all. I think it comes with. I haven't fully experienced all of it, but I know that this quote-unquote beginner mode has at least uh, twenty to I think twenty-six full-length tracks. Hmm. Uh, I don't now. I know there's a normal and advanced mode. I'm still working to beat the first level difficulties because then I can see whether or not it's just these same twenty-six songs again, or if they have more songs. I don't know. Got it. Can't stop, won't stop to get the fuck out of here. So with that said, we just have one last thing to show off, which is that um, those DLC songs you don't have to worry about, but for the actual story, there are actually boss stages. 
And this is our first one we're going to be fighting. Uh, they have all sorts of things, like on the cover art for this game, there's a giant spider boss. But right now we got this guy. Oh god, it's a, and it's a last game bullworm! I was going to so, say a Gyarados, but that works too. Yeah, no, it's a giant earthworm. We got a... Target it and uh, direct hits deal more damage. And the idea of this, the idea of this, of these kind of stages is you have to deplete the boss's health by the end of the song. Otherwise, it'll be considered a fail, and your ship usually gets eaten or something. Oh uh, well, at least they show show off that pretty detail. Unfortunately, this thing's shell is freaking as hard as rock. So, time to improvise. We're going inside the beast's mouth. Is this something you can completely miss during the boss fight, or...? No, 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 this is part- no, this is part of the track. Oh, okay. Just making sure. Uh, there's so, some dumb stuff we all love to hate. So, I mean, it's up to you, like, what your taste in music is. I don't personally like all the songs, but I- I will- like Thumper, I will not deny they give some- they definitely give some energy and tension. Oh, how we go. Whoa! They blew right a hole the in its side. I think we blew a hole in its side, but, uh... So, I mean, yeah, I, I think there can be good and bad examples of any kind of genre, and electronic music is no exception to me. But, um, I feel like they do a good job of, like, working with the music to create, like, you know, how the music kind of wave, how the music kind of, like, does this wavy motion so it has the boss monster do that. I think they did a good job of visualizing it like this. Yeah, that honestly does, doesn't look half bad. It, honest, it honestly gives me... Similar vibes to Cluster Truck, if it was a little more, you know, detailed. Oh, yeah, I can see that. And, uh, yes, uh, I should I should give a forewarning to Matthew. Yes, there is a giant massive spider you fight at one point. What did I just go ah! back to? A boss! Ah! Ah! Oh, that's the bullworm! Oh, and dear. Dubstep. That is heavy dubstep, man. Heavy dubstep, but... I, don't, I can I can, I can say that not all of them are this bad, and at least here I feel like the dubstep... Like I was telling James, leads to the tension of we're fighting a giant monster. Oh, but I, I wish. Uh, oh, uh, uh, one At game I need to show hits. off. One game I need to show off sometime is a uh, there's a rhythm game that someone made. I think is a fan tribute to Savant, one of my favorite electronic artists. Mm, and it's cool. called I think it's called Savant Ascend. I need to I need to do a look out of that game. All right, there. Now the skull's there, that means that we've uh, won this... We, we, we've now officially won this level. We just need to survive till the end now. Yay! Otherwise, I have seen what happens. If you can't defeat its, if you can't defeat its health in time, he just rises up and eats you. And that's yeah. how the song ends. But well, it's, to, be, well to be fair, we've already gone to its skull and God knows how many times. We'll just find a way to come right back out. True, but now he's like... Argh! There you go. So, yeah, now that I'm going to probably end off after this song, but yeah, that was our little look at Aero. Again, it is uh, $15 for the full thing on Switch, and if you enjoy uh, all manners of electronic music, I feel like this is a pretty neat little uh, way to incorporate that into, you know, a rhythm game with, like, you know, an actual gameplay feel to it, and definitely, I feel like, gives me a bit more energy than... You know other games like Dragon Melody's Escape. That one time we showed that game off in other games, but yeah, again, this is available on Switch. Uh, please support the developers, Mad Fellow Games. I only say that because on every freaking loading screen that I had to cut out, they market and advertise their Twitter handle. So <laughs> please support them. But yeah, with that said, what did you? Uh, did you guys all uh, enjoy that? I guess. Quickly? Yeah, that was really nice. Thank you for sharing well, with us. Yeah. No. Problem. I like the unique oh. rhythm games like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So with that, I'll keep an eye out for if there's any other cool rhythm games because I do like music-based stuff. But yeah, until then, thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm Lucky Jack Twenty. I'm James May Extreme. Join the Guide Eleven. I'm Ronnie J. Let's get the dub out of here. <laughs> all right. Step it up. <laughs> Bye, guys. Actually, no. Let me try that again. Step it up.